Hello everyone, I am Monisha Prasad. I have a bachelor's degree in computer science. Uh, I have worked as a software developer for a few years. I am currently doing my master's at National University of Singapore. Today, let's see how to solve a Sudoku puzzle using depth first search algorithm. This algorithm is used to traverse a tree or graph data structure. It starts at the root node and explores along the branches to find a solution. If there is no solution, then uh, it backtracks. Uh, consider this example of an undirected graph. Let's start at the root vertex A. Uh, a DFS algorithm is usually implemented using a stack. Uh, so push this vertex into the stack and mark A as an already visited vertex. I show it in red. From A, I can uh, visit B or C. Uh, let me choose B. Push B into the stack and mark B as visited. Similarly, from B, I go to D, from D to E, and from E to F. Uh, from F, there are no uh, unvisited nodes. So, I will have to backtrack to E, which means I will have to pop F from the stack. From E, there is one unvisited vertex, which is C. Push C into the stack and mark it as visited. Uh, you can see that all the vertices have been marked in red, which means all of them are already visited. But the program needs to check this. So, from C, backtrack to E. Uh, so, pop C from the stack and check if there are any unvisited nodes. There are none. So, backtrack to D. Uh, and similarly, continue till the uh, root vertex A. So, from the root vertex, we do not have any unvisited uh, vertices, so pop A from the stack. Since the stack is empty, it means all have already been visited and the execution stops here. This algorithm has a lot of real-time uses. It can be used in pathfinding, topological sorting and to solve puzzles which have a unique solution. Uh, one such example is a Sudoku puzzle. Let's now see how to solve the Sudoku using the DFS algorithm. So this is how a Sudoku puzzle looks. Uh, our goal is to fill the empty cells with values from 1 to 9. Each number can appear only once in each row, column or uh, a box. That is, there should not be any repetition and the values must be unique. The algorithm starts with the first empty cell which is 0, 0 and it forms a tree structure. Uh, it tries to find values that can fit into the cell. So, excluding values that have already appeared in the box, row and column, we have 3, 4 and 5. We must choose one among these three before moving to the next empty cell which is 0. Uh, let me choose 3. So, I fill 3 here and try to find a value for the cell 0, 1. But there are no unique values that fit here because all numbers from 1 to 9 have already appeared in the row, column and box. So, I will have to backtrack, remove the value 3 and choose the next branch, which is 4. So, I fill the value 4. Now, when I try to find value for 0, 1, there is a unique value 3. So, I fill the value 3 and move to the next empty cell, which is 0, 2. Uh, so, continue in the similar fashion. That is, when there are more than one branch, choose the first branch. Uh, continue until you are stuck with no possible values. The, in that case, you must backtrack and choose the next branch. When there are unique values, fill them and move to the next empty cell. So, keep continuing until you solve the Sudoku puzzle. Let us now see how I have implemented this using Java. So, there are three classes and these are the class diagrams. I have uploaded the code in GitHub and provided the link in the description. Let me now show you a demo. So, this is the main method and the Sudoku is represented as a two-dimensional array. Zeros here means that the cells are empty. I have solved this using uh, the method solve, which is a recursive function. It uses objects from the node class to form the tree data structure and solves uh, the puzzle using the depth for search algorithm. Let me now run this. So here is the output. There are no zeros here, which means the puzzle is completely solved. Uh, so this is one example where I have used the DFS algorithm to solve the Sudoku puzzle. Similarly, uh, you can use this algorithm to find solutions for various other problems. Thank you.